what went wrong in the second half? Well, I think uh, first half we were absolutely brilliant. Dictated the game, 2 nothing up, could have been 3 or 4, total control of the match. And we stressed at half time, we still had to continue to pass the ball and pass it sharply. I felt our passing wasn't as good in the first half, uh, in the second half as it was in the first. And that then allowed Odisha to come onto the game. They have nothing to lose at 2 nothing down. They're throwing men forward. And I've, I've, we should have a better game management. That being said, everything hinges on, on the sending off. It's a huge turning point in the game. Uh, was he outside the box? I'm led to believe he possibly was. But then is that a red card? I think a yellow would have sufficed, as it did in the first half when the boys stopped the... Uh, for our penalty, stopped the ball in, his, in, the, in the line with his hand, but he's given a yellow card and then we've given a red for something outside the box. So, uh, that was hard to take, but even that being said, even with 10 men at 2-0, we should still have been in a position to see the game out, so that's a disappointment. Twofold, one, we didn't pass the ball well enough in the second half, that's something we need to work on and get better at, because if we replicate our first half performance, there's no doubt we can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best teams in the league, so that's how, what we have to focus on now. How far along are Jerry and Vinitra from full match fitness? How far along are? How difficult was it to sustain the attack from Odisha with one man down? Well, I get, I, it's always challenging when you're a man down and they're throwing everybody, they're throwing everybody forward. But that being said, that's still the bit I have to say that we have to just have a cool head. Still retain possession, keep passing, moving the ball. Uh, we brought a couple of subs into the game. They've got to be ready to come in and, and play their part and see the game out. As it was, I mean, the... the the one that led to 2-1 was obviously a very scrappy goal, but we've still got to clear our box. We don't, we get punished. And then listen, the boy scores an unbelievable wonder strike, which can happen. But we have to affect that better by not giving the first goal away that then allows more pressure to come on you. So I think the game management is a big thing, as early in the season it is, because it certainly feels like two points dropped. That being said, we'll pick ourselves up with a game in two days' time, I think, against Hyderabad, who have looked a good side, and we'll be ready to go for that one. Last question. Uh... What do you tell a senior, senior player like uh, D.P. Rehnovich after today's incident? Well, uh, listen, listen, I think he was a little bit unfortunate. I think it was Ricky who was going back with them. Ricky's kind of just missed it with the studs and Rinesh has came committed and it's bounced. It could have bounced anywhere. I think it was more the ball bouncing to his hand than him, actually. But regardless of what happened, that's regardless whether you're an experienced player, whether you're a young player. I mean, I've got to say, I thought Rinesh was terrific in the game with an outstanding save from Onwu earlier, from a wonderful volley in the top corner. So we won't be too harsh on him. Ultimately, you know, it's uh, uh, we've been punished severely for going down to 10 men. But even then, we still are in a position to win the game. That's what we have to do better. So it's not about individuals make mistakes. We're very much all in this together, and that's the way we'll move forward.